Tennessee. I am here with an awesome group of leaders in, in many fields, and we all share inspiration throughout the week based on a quote and a hashtag. And we come live on Monday oh, night to share that and um, reveal our quote so that you can see our inspiration. And we hope that you all are filled with positivity and kind of an eye-opening experience as you follow each of your friends here um, in their stories. Sometimes they're in their posts and we've got people doing stories on Instagram as well. So our quote for the week is from a woman named Paula Giddings. She's a very interesting woman. And it is what is at the summit of courage, I think, is freedom. So our hashtag is freedom. We've been seeing those hashtag stories throughout the week. So we're gonna go around and talk to each one here so that they can give us a bit about what this inspiring message how it spoke to them, how they used it, and um, you know, used it in stories, and used it with you know various images and things that they had. And so we hope you enjoyed them. So first of all, I'm going to go to Lenore, who always brings us beautiful, inspiring messages. She also posts beautiful scripture, so you can follow her to get that wonderful word she pretty much i think does that daily lenore how is this hashtag and quote for you this week what does freedom mean to you All right well thank you uh noel um and hello everybody the quote to me is um it's it has a lot of meaning freedom for me is um it's very important because I um, posted some things as far as courage. And it takes courage to grow. It takes courage to take a class. It takes courage to do something outside of the norm, outside of the box. Mm -hmm. But if we don't stretch to do things outside of the box, then we remain the same. And in this world, my thought is that we are to continue to evolve and evolve and evolve until we don't have any more breath in our body. So it takes courage to do um, some things that are out of the norm. And so that's, that's what it meant for me to just, um, and, and taking the courage, you know, taking that first step, you may have butterflies in your stomach or you, you may even uh, be afraid and uh, a, um, a, a motivational spiritual person that I, I used to watch on a regular, Joyce Meyer says, do it scared, just do it, you know, and move forward. So Noel, that's what it meant for me. And thank you for allowing me to share this evening. Thank oh, you. thank you for your insight into that. I love it. And I am in agreement that life is an evolutionary process and that we are here to grow and then give those things that we learn to others. Thank you, Lenore. All right, Wes. Wes is a coach for a course called Yes, You Can, and I'm looking very much to forward to being a part of it in his next class coming up. So Wes, hashtag freedom. Give us what you got. Thanks, Noel. Thanks, Noel. And, and Lenora, that was awesome, but you stole my thunder because that's what I was going to say. Now I got to think of how I'm going to say what I want to say, right? Um, the summit of courage, the summit of courage at the very peak of courage, right? It doesn't get any higher than that is freedom. And for me, freedom is about self-development. Like Lenore said, it's about taking that dive and finding out who we really are. And you know, when you start doing that, you start changing and then people start noticing and start making comments. And of course I hear, uh, yeah, Mr. Positivity. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mr. Yes, you can. But you know what? If you don't take a dive in, if you don't go in and learn about what you're about, you're missing out in life. And when you understand what is actually holding you back, I think one of my posts this week, my favorite post was the guy standing there at the chain. You know, we all have these limits that we have placed in our lives unknowingly and we don't realize that we've done that and we don't even know where they came from but we just accept that as a belief and a truth and that's how we live our life 
So to me, freedom is breaking free from those chains, breaking free from those beliefs, those limiting beliefs that have held us in check. I got, I'm 55 years old and I'm just figuring it out. If only I knew this when I was 18. That's all I got, Noel. I'll turn it back to you. Hey, well, that was great, Wes, and I did really enjoy that, um, the chain and, and the breaking free, and that reminds me of our coach, Kibi, and her book, and um, that wasn't really a term I was familiar with, is like breaking off these chains, but it's certainly something I've always been striving towards, and 55 is a great number and a great time to start, a great time to start delving into all of this and when you were 18 that was leading you to 55 when all of this opened up for you so it's perfect timing all right nicole nicole connor <laughs> share some of the inspiration for your beautiful stories oh my goodness okay so um some of us have been um on this journey learning um and walking through the prayer of jabez and this quote really tied in with the stuff that uh, has kind of come at me over the last week. And I just want to encourage everyone who is, you know, either being spiritually attacked or especially when you're trying to grow and get out of your comfort zone, as, as you know, Lenora was talking about. And Wes was like, you know, you've got to get all this stuff in your head figured out so that you can move past all the stuff that's holding you back. Mm -hmm. And the same is when others are trying to hold you back or when the enemy is trying to hold you back. And so, I wanted to just say to those of you who are listening that when you are doing something God has called you to do, whether it's to be a coach, to be the best employee, to be the best boss, to be the best whatever, keep going no matter what comes at you. Because at this summit, at the top, right, the summit represents the top of a mountain. And it takes courage to even try to get there. And when you've gotten or reached that place, don't stop looking for the next summit to accomplish. Back mm -hmm. to you. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I think sometimes we we're like, when am I going to get there finally? And we do. And then a lot of the time we hope we're ready for that next summit and we keep on growing and keep on going. Thank you so much. All right, Dawn. Hello, Dawn. Hi, Noelle. Thank you. Wow. Everyone has shared. So we're really in agreement because everything that I had written down is very similar. So freedom for me, this particular quote, what is at the summit of courage? I think is freedom. What I think about that is having this, the courage, you know, like Lenore said, step out of your comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone to achieve your true passion. It's the journey along the way getting to that summit. And Nicole couldn't have said it any better, is when you get to that summit, you know, stop and enjoy, smell the roses, enjoy your success of what has been you there and take a moment to look back and see how far you have come. Because as you're going up to that summit, um, there's challenges along the way. You know, Nicole hit all those, so I'm not going to even mention them, but they are always coming at you. And if you're looking back, journaling, gratitude journal, those sorts of things, and you look back and you can see on your quick wins of what you've overcome so far, that'll keep you going. Mm -hmm. And you know, the courage part, this gives you the freedom to choose, not only to choose your mood, but choose to stand up for what you believe in. So. Mm -hmm. You know, like for me, not compromising my morals or values for anyone or anything, including money. Um, freedom for me is freedom to choose to stand up for what I believe in so that I can be my best, true, authentic self. And um, so back to you, Noelle. Thank you, Don. Well, I knew you were going to bring it. Don is a professional coach as well as the owner of multiple businesses. So I knew that she would drop some wisdom here for us. And I did hear the themes that we've kind of seen already with Nicole and Lenore and Wes. And, um, you know, Lenore said, start scared, right? And so we talked about getting up through that summit and there are things that can knock you back. And, you know, Wes with the, Wes is hashtag yes you can <laughs> so like i said more coming on that i'll have a little more knowledge of that coming up all right Kay, you inspired me this week <laughs> and really i just got such a um a chuckle not laughing at but just laughing at the the fun of it all that you had 
with your post on have car will travel hashtag freedom <laughs> so, good. so tell us about your inspiration please Kay. um i the it takes it, it takes courage to want to go up the mountain um but i find all the way you know you go up sort of a little level and then it takes courage to go to the next level and like okay i got here um i got to the summit relative to qualifying for an event and it's like oh my gosh i'm down at the bottom to climb up again um and the courage and this this last week driving to training and then doing something i hadn't ever done before um my sister says you want to go kayaking and then she while i was sort of like what is it then she told me my brother couldn't do it and i go oh goodness gracious this does not help my being scared <laughs> and i i went anyways and slid into the kayak and I was so happy with myself that I didn't let my fear, that I took courage and said, okay, I can change my thoughts. I can do this. I can do this. And just the, some of said before relative to choices. So if the choices in, in your thoughts and the choices of the thoughts that you listen to and the choices of the thought that you go, nah, I'm not going to follow that thought. I'm going to put another one in instead. Um, so the child story of I think I can, I think I can, um, in order to do that, it was I can. I had to throw out the word think. <laughs> I can. <laughs> so yeah. yes, this this freedom and and courage is yeah, and it takes courage to pick up the phone and call somebody. So it's it's all day long taking courage to make the next step. So this was very um it was very helpful to have this as a focus for the week. So thank you, Nicole, for the, the quote and, and the kudos. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. And um, I've also experienced that where I really have to tell myself, you can do this in this, in this moment. Mm -hmm. And it sure does help. The resistance comes down. All right. Now we're going to go to Al Lewis, who I know is going to bring us some awesome stuff on freedom go for it al hello hello well don't depend on me i'm gonna tell you but uh here freedom freedom basically is the ability to be who you want to be think how you want to think uh live the way you would like to live as long as it doesn't injure or hurt someone else and there are so many people who are imprisoned in some way and they cannot be who they want to be, live how they want to live, think how they want to think. And I love this quote because everyone who fights has courage. Even if you're a hero and you sacrifice everything, that doesn't mean that you don't have fear. It doesn't mean that you're not, you're not hesitant. But the ability to take action in the midst of your fear because there's something more important, something more valuable then your safety and your security, that, that, wow, that's huge. If you're willing to fight, now here, keep in mind, you know I'm a military guy, but you know what, if I believe that I, uh, I am going to be uh, uh, at the top of my career, as far as whatever my career is, wealth is my, is my treasure or my, my goal or whatever the case may be, if I'm not willing to fight for it, then that, that's a problem. If, if I'm not, if, if mentally I'm like, hey, I have a mind that I just want to soak in everything that I can soak in and I'm not willing to fight for it. So fighting doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily physical, it's internal. Mm -hmm. So that freedom, the courage, the courage, the, at the peak of courage is freedom. So when we get to the point where we are willing to give all for whatever we're going for, for whatever we're attacking or addressing or trying to obtain, then we actually truly have freedom. The person who is not willing to die for anything have to rely on their freedom from someone else greater than them. So anyway, I'm sorry, that's just a, a, a little bit of a, a piece of the, the, the joy that I got in this freedom uh, quote here. Wow, I love it. The peak of courage is freedom. 
Awesome. Thank you, Will. Your stories were really inspiring, really, uh, to me, I'll use the word beautiful to look at as well. And what the wisdom you just brought us, I'm going to go back and listen to that again, because it, it was touching me deeply there. So thank you for sharing that, Al. All right. Now we have Cheryl, his beautiful wife, Cheryl Lewis. Uh, thank you, you Noel. I appreciate you. And Nicole, I saw your salute. That was awesome. I see you. So I don't know if you saw that, but it was a great salute. But um, I was inspired um, by freedom. Um, and I was, of the <laughs> I was of the opinion that health, time, and wealth or money equals freedom. Why? Well, that's a good question. Because you can have health and you can have time, but if you don't have money, you lose your freedom. Mm -hmm. You can have time and you can have wealth, but without your health, you lose your freedom. You can have time and you can have... Did I do that one already? <laughs> but, but what I'm trying to say is that if you don't have health, if you don't have your time, and if, if, you, if you don't have money, you lose your freedom. Mm -hmm. And I was inspired because it made me appreciate the freedoms that we do have and not try to focus on what we don't have. And typically, we do not appreciate the freedoms that we have until they're gone. So that was my takeaway from doing the freedom quote. So thank you very much. Back to you, Noel. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Yeah. When people are going through a health struggle or a financial struggle, that sure does put a cap on their ability to live their lives freely. And, you know, when it's a health struggle, you can have as much money in the bank as you can imagine, and if you can't get out of bed and do anything with it, it's really not going to do you much good. So that's also <clears throat> a part of, I feel, health and, and tied into evolution. Why are we to live this length of life and have the health that allows us to do that so that we can gain knowledge, so that we can pass that on? Thanks. Thank you so much, Cheryl. And Joe, Joe Bowman. Tell us your ideas on freedom. You had some fun stories. Yes, I did. Um, I guess it, it, sometimes people get, you have to free yourself from the past mm -hmm. and, and the future and be living in the present to be truly free. Mm -hmm. um, I think that if you're always, and I agree with Cheryl, the health, wealth, and time, you have to have all three or else you're not really truly free. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of it has to come back to the subconscious mind, which I'm kind of getting back to that again, um, uh, where we all have been programmed with a blueprint uh, in the subconscious. And if you don't free yourself from that subconscious, you never can truly be free, I don't believe. Because we've been raised with blueprint. It's there. It overrides everything else. And you, I, I truly believe that, that you need to reprogram your blueprint. Um, and there's different names for it, subconscious, et cetera. But that sometimes is the overriding factor in our everyday lives and that we don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. And until you, you can have, the, and I agree with Cheryl, the health, wealth, time. But really, I believe the subconscious is controlling that and reprogramming and changing that blueprint is really when you set yourself free. Right, yeah. Thank you so much, Joe. And I will say that a bit of a theme I saw with some of the male <laughs> stories this week was some kickback time and that felt like freedom to them. <laughs> some time to just kick back and relax. So I have more that I could piggyback off of with that, but I'm going to let Coach Kiwi come and bring it after that and some of these other stories we've heard and share with us, Kiwi, your thoughts on hashtag freedom. Yes, and wow, it's echoing everybody, but I want to focus on time. Uh, that was the one thing Cheryl mentioned, but no one else did. And for me this week, it was about time because I believe that freedom is in our time. Yes, we need our health. Yes, we need money. But if we're not here on this earth, it's not going to matter, right? So we really need to look at how we're spending our time. 
where we're spending most of our time with who we're spending our time and our relationships are very, very important. And so it's about taking that courage to make a decision. We need to make a decision on what we want. Lots of people say we think we know what we want. We don't like make that decision on what we want. What is freedom to us? Then make the commitment, then take the action. Right. And everybody kind of said all those things. So I don't want to like, reiterate here but the biggest uh, key for me for freedom this week was having the courage to to look at my time like really look at where i'm spending my time it, am i missing time with family and um i seen a movie i don't watch tv this is why because i it, it like goes in my head and it really freaks me out but um dawn and i were talking about a movie a while back and i still gives me the creeps but this um, movie was about how we go to work and we we, we get time and it gets on our wrist. I don't know the name of it. If y'all know, just tell me. But anyway, they clock in, they work, and then they put time on their wrist. And when their time runs out, they die. And it was so weird. I was like, oh my gosh, but it's so true. It's so true. It's about our time and where we're spending our time. And get like, guess what? We could have really high paying jobs and just be miserable because we're there all the time. We're sick because we're there all the time and we're not doing the things we want to do. So for me, this week freedom was about time and it was me making a decision that I want to go full-time coach. I put it out there. I speak it. I'm going to do it. I put a time frame on it, that a, a goal on it. I want to take action. And guess what? I'm not going to focus on the result. I'm not going to focus on who's looking like and coming. I don't care. What I want to focus on is my action because that's what gives us freedom. And it's that courage to take us there. Back to you, Noel. Thank you for letting me share. Oh yeah, that was awesome, Kiwi. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you for the the insight and um, talking to us about time and the, and the perception of that. Because do we do we take a look at that? I I hope we do. And do we take a look at the moment that we're in and decide is this how I want to be spending my time? And sometimes it's just not going to be like that because that's just life. Um, and I do like a lot what. Joe was saying too about freedom from, you know, the past and the future and living in the present. And that's really about valuing our time, valuing the time that we're in right here, right now. So with that, Dana, tell us about your summit of courage and freedom. All right. Thank you, Noel. Wow. You guys are all so good. These are all just fantastic. And so, um, so freedom looks different for everyone. Um, each person's picture of what freedom looks like is different. But we all, in order to be free, there's dreams and goals and desires that we have that we need to pursue in order to um, be free. And it takes courage to pursue those dreams and goals because once you are determined that you're going to pursue whatever it is you want to do, you're going to run into some walls, you're going to get some bumps and some bruises, and you have to have courage in order to continue to move forward. And um, in the process of attaining those dreams and goals, you gain freedom. And so um, we just all have to make sure that we're on point and that we just make sure that, um, like Kibi said, we know what we want. Because when you don't know exactly what you want, you get sidetracked. You're looking over here, you're looking over there. So um, gain freedom in the process of, of attaining your dreams and goals and desires. Yeah. Back to you, Noel. Thank you. So what I heard there is keep your focus to obtain your freedom. Thank you so much, Dana. All right, Wanda's got an American flag behind her. I love her background. And so Wanda, I'd love to hear what you have to share with us. Thank you, Noel. So mine is kind of about the freedom of the flag, mm -hmm. which, so we have freedom because we live in the United States with the flag. We have the freedom to serve our God, and he gives us everything. So um, 
we have to have the courage to step forward into whatever it is that he's leading us into and what where he wants us to go. So I lived my true, what I consider true freedom this weekend for my birthday. And that was being able to um, be out into in his beauty, his creation, see the sunrise, see the sunset, be outdoors, camping with my husband, and just enjoying that time of freedom. And knowing that um, God gave and the freedom to serve him. So back to you, Noel. Oh, thank you, Wanda. That was so beautiful. And I loved how you tied that all together and um, your thoughts of being alive um, and waking up in the morning in nature with your beloved. What, what better freedom to have, right? Thank you so much. Freedom to choose the time to be with the people that we enjoy the most and Kibi mentioned that as well. So I, you know, if we, if we uh, use a gratitude journal, um, one of the things that I'm grateful for is to wake up and to be alive in this beautiful country um, where we do have our freedom. Um, and that is because a lot of other people have worked very hard for that throughout their lives for all of us. And um, that's just not something <clears throat> that I that I take for granted that I was given in this life. And freedom to um, spend time with my family because at the end of the day, those are the interactions that I will treasure the most. And so, um, and I try to balance that, right? With then having, being ambitious. Um, and when I, you know, I used to hike around California and my friend took me one time and I just said, I can't make it any further. And she said, it is literally just around the corner. That's all you have to go. And I felt like the sun was beating down on me and that I wasn't going to make it another step. But she was right. It was that close. And as we turned around, just the whole vista of the Pacific Ocean opened up and the wind coming off of the ocean totally cooled me down from the hike. So it was like this sweet relief. And I think it was called Eagle Rock or something. It was just way up high. So such a cool perspective. So sometimes, you know, we need, a, we need a, some encouragement from another person to tell us to keep going, but that's okay. That's okay to get that from people that, you know, are there to, to get you to that summit and help you feel stronger. And you guys all do that for me. Thank you for sharing this hashtag freedom. Thank you for being part of our reveal tonight. I really appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. See you next week.